Hey folks, Wes here. Um, I am working on some slides for a syntax live that we're doing for Reactathon. And um, the last time we used it was, I don't know, maybe a year ago, and it ran on Gulp. Um, and now since Gulp was updated to Gulp 4, it doesn't work on like the latest version of Node, and I don't feel like figuring out how to convert it. And I've been doing this with all of my Gulp files. I've been converting them over to Parcel, and people said, hey, can you show us how to do it because I have a gulp thing as well. So um, I'm going to show you how to quickly move over a gulp file over to um, Parcel. Um, Parcel is a bundler and it takes out all the config and it just works for you. So um, the first thing I, I did is I went ahead and ran npm install parcel dash bundler. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go into our package JSON and where we have gulp, we simply just type parcel index.pug. So in this case, this slide deck, this is, I've had this forever. Um, it's a pug um, template where every single article is a slide. There is styles in stylus, and then there is a slides.js. This is from Google many, many years ago. Look at, remember Google code? I don't even think Google code is even around anymore, is it? Yeah, look at this. This is from Google I.O. 2012. So this is eight years old, but it still works fine. Don't tell me there's other stuff available. I know there's other stuff available. It's not as good. Uh, I'm I'm happy with how this one works. It's very, very simple and I can I can make it work in any way I want very quickly. Um, so what I had cooked up with this is I have browser sync, which gives us hot reloading, meaning that you change HTML or CSS or JavaScript and it will reload the browser quickly and accordingly. Um, it will also um, turn my stylus into CSS and then it will, what does this one do? Um, runs it through Gulp Plumber as an error handler. It turns the, this used to be in Jade, but now it's called Pug. It's a templating language. Um, and then finally it just reloads the page and then runs all that. So we're going to turn this entire Gulp thing into parcel. Um, and so the first thing that we need to do is you go to your HTML and uh, parcel, you you point it at your, like your entry point, like your HTML or in my case, the pug. It will transform that, but then it will also check for any linked um, assets. So it's going to link up slides.js. Um, the styles.css, now we're just going to change that to style.styl, and that is this file. And it's smart enough to know, oh, okay, that's an entry point. Let me, let me compile that over to CSS. Um, prism.css that's a highlighter that's that's in there um and i believe believe that's it usually when i do this I, I i run into a few little syntax highlighting or whatever issues but that's fine so we'll go to our package json oh we already did that um and we can run npm start that will run parcel it, it runs a local server for you and there it is looks like my arrows are working Beautiful. So everything compiled over properly. Um, let's check if it worked. Is if I change this background to red, and boom, like immediately you get the the updates in there. So so that is switching over. And go ahead and just delete this entire gulp file. Um, I'm gonna go to my package JSON and get rid of all the gulp stuff. Just 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 so much simpler parcel. It just works when, when you need it. Um, all right. So that is that. Um, the next thing is building for development. So um, what we can do is we'll go to our package JSON. We will make a script called build. And I believe it's parcel bundle. Let's, let's try it. Um, oh, it doesn't like that. Isn't that nice? It just gives you like immediate feedback that you put a semicolon in the wrong spot. So npm run build. That is not what we want. It's probably build, not bundle. There we go. Building. Um, all right. So unknown word. Background position absolute on styles.styl on line 20. So we'll go there. Go to line 20. That's not that's not where it is. Um, we'll look for that one. So position 
absolute. There's no absolute in here. Okay, so it's probably, oh, you know why? It's because I have this import depths. So we'll go to there. And I bet it's on line 20 of that one. There we go. Oh, look, see this, 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 like what happened there? Uh, I goofed something up there and how before it was fine. In this case, it says, no, that's not good. Look at this. It's so old that we have WebKit prefixes on it. Uh, so let's try it again. Sometimes you just have to go through six or seven of these. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Little breaks. Um, it's cool because they also will compress your images for you as well. Um, and then if we open up the dist folder, we should see that there is an index.html in there and there's index.js. All of the CSSs has been um, compiled and transpiled for you. And then every, every single image that we've used in the slide deck, it has been compressed and minified for us. So pretty sweet. I really like that. Um, the only other thing I think I might need to do is uh, modify the out folder because um, the talk needs to be hosted on GitHub pages. And GitHub pages needs like a, I think it needs to go in like a docs folder or something like that. But I'll figure that out after, after this video. But I just thought I'd show you how it works. Um, I've done this six or seven times now. And almost always, it's simply just updating the links to where your entry points are for your assets, fixing a few little broken bumps and bruises where it was fine with gulp, but not with parcel. Um, and then changing up your actual commands and, uh, and that's it. It's, it's really simple. Um, it just works. There's no installing plugins or configuring anything. I just love it a lot. So hopefully that's helpful to you. I'll check you later.